happy Monday. Here's one of the projects I worked on this weekend. The other one was off-road light bar and off-road lights. That's already uploaded, so check those out. I worked on my storage box project also. Installed a tow hitch and refinished the storage box. It could probably use one more coat of paint. I'll probably do that. But I made this, well not made it, but I improvised this six, seven years ago with my la when I got my last van. This was supposed to be a generator holder, but $100 generators are not good at all. So I never used this. I never bought an expensive generator. I wanted to use the Harbor Freight $100 generator. I went through two of those and none of them were any good, but that was the intention of this box was to have a generator with me. That's why there's holes, holes for a vent and uh, the cord to come out of. But now I could use this for my camping trips, so I kept this laying around for the last seven years, so I repainted it. And now check out what I got. So instead of generator, if you're a regular on my channel, you know I went solar with my last van, and I went solar with this van, and I got this right here. I could take this along with me, see? I could hold a grill in this storage box, and then I got all kinds of uh, stuff for it. So I'm going to put some hooks on it. I'm going to attach some hooks to the storage box so I have mounting spots for lawn chairs, stuff like that, tote tow hitch pin. I, I didn't really attach this. I just put it on the tow hitch, but I didn't lock it in yet. So here's a lock for the storage box and the tow hitch pin right there. And then this, I'm just going to mount this set outside. So yeah, so I have some hooks. I'm going to mount them outside here so that I have, you know, mounting points. And I'm going to make a high lift jack mount for this. So I believe these are called welder's boxes. So I found this on Craigslist for $20 and then mounted this to a hitch step. This is a big washer right here, but all this is is a hitch step. That's it. Uh, I need a hitch extender. That's another thing I need to buy because the door won't open. I also bought a backup camera because I'm going to need a backup camera now. I actually got used to driving my van, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to need some help with this sticking out of the back, especially with the hitch extender. It's going to be even longer than this, so yeah, I'm going to need it to open the door, but I'm only going to take this on camping trips or off-roading trips when this thing's lifted. But yeah, I have a nice storage box here. There's a company called Illuminis that makes nice stuff for the Econoline, but yeah, I'll show you guys how much their storage box cost. This cost me a total of uh, 20 for the step, 20 for about $40 to make this thing, to improvise this thing. Of course, I had to install a tow hitch. So, there you go. Hank Hill would be very disappointed in this grill. Perfect platform for cooking. Once I get the hitch extender, this will be even further away from the van. So, perfect. So, let's see. I'm going to fold this up right now. Almost fit perfectly. The handle got in the way. So I could either take the handle off, or I could just tilt it like this, and I could still fit a bag of charcoal with it. I might want to put another shelf up here, like a little shelf to put random stuff. I might do that. So there you go. It fits in my storage locker almost perfectly, but there you go.